Hi, welcome to our daily encounter. Today we come across chapter 45 of Jeremiah, where it deals with a man by the name of Barak. Um, God uh, speaks through Jeremiah and wants to give him a word. Now this uh, Barak, he was the one who had written down in a book all the prophecies that Jeremiah had given, and so he's a very he plays a very important role in uh, these prophecies, in that he uh, was the means by which God preserved his word. And so much of, uh, or the fact that we have the book of Jeremiah in our Bibles today, um, we should, you know, acknowledge the fact that that was through the work of Barak. Um, but apparently he was having a hard time with all of this word of destruction uh, in the land, and he's kind of down and out. Uh, he basically had said, Oh, woe is me, for the Lord has added sorrow to my pain. I am weary with my groaning and have found no rest. And the Lord uh, says to him, Behold, what I have built I am about to tear down, and what I have planted I am about to uproot, that is, the whole land. But you, are you seeking great things for yourself? Do not seek them, for behold, I am going to bring disaster on all flesh, declares the Lord. But I will give your life to you as booty, to all the places, or in all the places where you may go. And so here, uh, Barak is kind of down and out, and not really completely sure why. It must have had something to do with one, either the, the land uh, being destroyed, or secondly, it might be his own condition. Um, maybe he expected, because of his labors, to receive not only. Uh, respite from uh, the destruction, but also to have a, a pretty nice life set up for him that God should like somehow bless him and make him great in some way. Uh, and the Lord rebukes him for that. But nonetheless, because apparently because of the great work that he did do in writing down these prophecies, the Lord says that he would have his life spared. And so we see here that uh, Barak basically had his priorities a little bit off and and that's easy to do you know you labor for the Lord and you work for him and maybe sometimes when we do that we expect something great in return and we think well because I did this then the Lord ought to do this for me and we forget that you know we should just be glad that he has given us salvation that we he has spared our life and has given us actually eternal life through his son Jesus Christ and anything else that he gives to us is basically a uh, bonus and here uh, Barak was going to have his life spared and, and that should have been good enough for him but apparently he was looking for something more now what does Barak have to do with us here in the 21st century well many times we have Christians who might play the same role as Barak in that they are not the like the great Jeremiah the prophet they're not the one in the spotlight they're not the one who um, everybody's eyes are upon they're not the one that everybody remembers um, they may not make it in uh, the history books or uh, be remembered generations uh, from now but they are doing a work to support those who are in the limelight those who are in uh, the forefront and the work that they do is very, very important. And and we should never look down upon our roles, whatever role it is that God has given us in His kingdom. Um, we should carry that and work in that sphere and and be thankful that uh, the Lord has given us such a work and, and to understand that everybody's role is very, very important. Uh, from the people who... Uh, do receive all the honor and the praise even to those who do not and that just work kind of behind the background uh, like Barak uh, does here in our story um, Paul in his writings he was very good ab about uh, acknowledging uh, the work of people especially in the book of Romans in Romans chapter 16 uh, he mentions people and the labor that they did and um, and these are people that probably would have long been forgotten had they not been uh, mentioned by Paul uh, in the scriptures. 
uh, in verse 3, he says, Greet Prisca and Aquila, my fellow workers in Christ Jesus, who for my life risked their own necks, to whom not only do I give thanks, but also all the churches of the Gentiles. Um, and then he would go on uh, to talk about uh, some of his fellow prisoners that he had, uh, Adronicus and Junius. Um, oh, and let's not forget uh, Phoebe as well. Uh, it was Phoebe that um, was apparently the one that carried this letter around. It says, I commend you, uh, commend to you our sister Phoebe, who is a servant of the church, which is at Sincrea, that you receive her in the Lord in a manner worthy of the saints, and that you help her in whatever matter she may have need of you, for she herself has also been a helper of many, and of myself as well. And you had Tertius, who was uh, the one who actually wrote, actually penned, uh, the book of Romans. Apparently it was a similar situation uh, with uh, Paul and Tertius as it was with Jeremiah and Barak. Um, and he's mentioned in the book of Romans. And so we think about the Apostle Paul and we think about how great he was, the many churches that he founded or, and that he uh, planted, and the great epistles that he wrote. But, you know, there was a lot of people who supported him and and helped him in his work and part of his success uh, was God using these other people to assist him and help him uh, to be able to do more with their help and so let's let's just think about that if you if you're the type of person who kind of plays it you know plays a role in the background maybe you feel like you don't get the accolades that you should get maybe you feel like uh, Maybe you look down on your gift that, as though it's not important because a lot of people don't recognize it. Uh, remember these people. Remember these people in scriptures that uh, had a similar role to you and, and, and see that their role was very, very important and very vital in accomplishing God's overall will. And, and yours is important as well. And we should do what the Lord has assigned for us to do, whether it's something small or something great. And do it with the greatest uh, enthusiasm and the greatest joy that we possibly can. And so this is just some things to think about. I thank you guys for listening in today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.